I've lived most of my life in Pasadena, a sprawling suburb northeast of downtown Los Angeles. It's where Julia Child and Jackie Robinson lived for a time, where the Rose Parade and the Rose Bowl are held every year. And it's home to the world-renowned Caltech Seismological Lab. It's a city known for many things, but it's never really been a culinary destination. There are plenty of great places to eat. I've written about many of them. But I don't know that I'd spend an hour in traffic to get there, from where I live currently. Two recent openings are solidifying the city as a culinary destination. A place worthy of a drive for a Frenchish bistro where I'd recommend the entire menu, and a restaurant centered on an excellent bowl of Taiwanese beef noodle soup. The Iberico pork chop arrives sliced, black-edged and nestled up against the bone, buried under a tangle of slightly wilted and sour cabbage and raw shaved onion. Underneath is a hot mustard sauce and on top, a furikake made with sesame seeds and fennel pollen. It is the dish on most tables at Bar Chelu, Doug Rankin's new restaurant adjacent to the Pasadena Playhouse. I'd had cured Iberico ham only as red and white ribbons of pure meaty, earthy funk, but the fresh pork chop was the equivalent of a nice piece of Wagyu beef. It picked up the smoke from the Jasper charcoal oven it was cooked in and cut like room temperature butter. But the best part of the dish is the one Rankin says he has to actually encourage people to eat. The bone is insane, but I watch every plate come back into the kitchen and a lot of people aren't eating it, he said. We bought little hand towels, because we think maybe people just didn't want to get their hands dirty. On a recent visit, I calibrated perfect bites of pork, cabbage and mustard sauce until the slices were gone and I was left with the bone. I contemplated taking it home to be alone with it but couldn't resist. I nod on it, stripping the charred edges that turn sweet and smoky in the oven. I was in the middle of a crowded dining room, but in my head, I was alone with the bone. If you're going to listen to a single thing I've ever said in this column, let it be this.